Hey guys, this is Ethan here. Apparently, Pridewin finally got it right after six months. Let's see what happens. Like the video. Fearless, let's go. Oh! Off rip, we have massive changes. So in our previous, we asked for feedback on a few characters based on that we've hit some additional updates to the tier list. Camilla T0.5 to T0, which is which is perfect. After a few more days of testing, we're updating her rating from T0.5 to T0. When measuring Camilla's kits and her numbers against other top tier characters, she isn't a step above her competition. She's quite similar in a vacuum. However, Camilla and her teams, unlike a lot of other, is quite accessible, making achieving her full potential not only possible, but fairly easy. Based on this, Camilla ends up performing better than her competition, T0.5, and closer to what Jinsey offers. I think Camilla's on the tier of Jinsey. I said, you're, you're, you're a hucking goofy. And it turns out they were 100% right. So shout out to Sarah for bringing that up. Very valid. And their team is free to play friendly. San Juan, Rina, you know, whatever. Because of what we're raising the T0 alongside, uh, also a different rotation was found and then proves your single target damage output and we're currently testing it. Once we're done, the calcs on the site will be updated. Regardless of the calcs are better or not, she's still T0, so she, she's she's good. She's in a great spot. Chang Lee, 0 0.5 to T0. It's what I like to see, boys. San Juan, San Juan. Bro. That is what I am talking about, son. They're finally getting their act together. Shang Li being in the hybrid category is what we've been talking about, but we'll get to that in a moment. T0 moved to hybrid category. T0 uh, moved to hybrid category. We've gathered and evaluated all your feedback on which category the community feels Shang Li should be placed in. As a result, we've altered her category from main DPS to hybrid, whilst also raising her to T0 to better fit her position in the meta relative to other characters in this category. We'll continue to monitor how Shang Li is being played in future patches with additional characters. I just want to say, I called this out the moment she released, and everyone on YouTube told me I was fucking stupid. I called this shit out three months ago. The CN community is wrong about Chang Li. She is a T0 unit, and she is a hybrid. You could run her as a main DPS, but she is still a sub DPS because she pumps out a fuck ton of damage, bro. So, I just, I just, I'm waiting for an apology. I'm waiting for it. I'm just keeping a stack. I'm waiting for an apology. You know, I'm sure the CN community is going to tell me to jump into front of a uh, uh, car in Roblox. But the point is that I said this a while ago and everyone told me I was wrong. Uh, Yinlin moving down, I think, is a massive W. Yinlin is a character we categorize at the edge of T0 and 0 0.5 as the time of our rework. She's able to be played in many of the top TOA teams with ease, but always with options and substitution, Zhang Liao, Jinxi, etc. With the moves of Cheng Li, Hybrid 0, we're moving her from edge. I agree. I think this is perfect. T0.5 is exactly where she should be. Uh, off rip, this is good. So we know Camilla again, T0. Great, great damage. I mean, she just pops damage similar to Gen C. Their C6 are almost comparable. Her rotations, despite what people want to say, she does have more depth than Gen C, which with more depth becomes more complicated, although the depth does not really matter. Uh, her rotations are more on point. You really can fuck up. You really can't fuck up with Gen C. You can fuck up with, with Camilla. So I will say Camilla is definitely harder to use, but they're still both in the same vein, so that's fine. Okay, that makes sense. Jin C's fucking stupid. And and both of them get their free-to-play options. They get San Hua for free. You get Yan Wu for free. I mean, you get your you get your support for free. Verini was for free. Shortkeeper's great. Like, it is what it is. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. T0.5, I think, is good. Um, I think Gian being in T0.5, if you use him properly, I can't use him properly because I... Of skill issues uh he still puts out very good damage i actually enjoy gion's gather aoe more than i enjoy camilla's i will say i think gion's aoe is a lot better in terms of like he he gives them the suck like he brings them in while camilla just kind of hits so i i will say she she has he obviously has an upper hand on that but just, even with that alone t0.5 is still perfect so zhang liao zhang liao is t0.5 i mean this dude is a free unit and he's matching Gian numbers he's, he's technically better than Gian realistically but they're still technically very close uh and you can run yang yang with him for free so i think that's fine camilla's airspin pulls him in not as much as Gian's though camilla's airspin is nowhere near as effective um camilla airspin pulls him in yeah but not as much not as much t0.5 is perfect literally the goat Honestly, if you don't have Zhang Liao and you don't want Camilla, you should honestly just roll Zhang Liao. Zhang Liao is fucking insane. Dude, dude is actually busted. We're going to have to drop an up updated guide on him using uh, Osio's Yang Yang. Um, why is Encore in Tier 1? So the thing about Encore is they have something called Expert Mode, which I actually like a lot. Where I, I actually very much agree with his ranking. If you are good with Encore, if you are goaded and you're good with a San Hua and all that good stuff, she can go up to T0.5. 
but that requires a fuck ton of skill and realistically there's just so many other options so resident chains resident chains are not relatable and we shouldn't be judging characters if you have a s6 called hero he's goaded if you have like you know what i mean so i i don't really consider resident chains in these so S0 Encore, I think is fine. Um, Donjon's fine. I mean, if you if you could use Donjon well, Donjon goes up, right? Uh, Donjon's great. Uh, Donjon could be tier one. I agree. I think Donjon should have the expert cheese, high risk, high reward. But now here, okay, here's the thing. This is what I don't understand with this tier list, right? Donjon is not a deep, just a DPS. Donjon, why is Donjon not in hybrid? And so while Pridewind is getting it right in some situations, they are not getting it right in everything else because Donjon is not a hybrid and I see Yang Yang is not a hybrid because Donjon's outro skill buffs Havoc Rover, buffs buffs this motherfucker. It could technically buff Tauchi if you run a fucking Tauchi. I don't know why I'd run DPS Tauchi, but like they're in their Concerto Energy's top tier. So I don't understand why they're just a main DPS category. So I, I think they only changed it for the big character like Chang Li. But to pretend like Donjon is not a sub DPS and only a main DPS, I think is an L. So while they have it right, I don't think they have 100% correct either. Because Donjon sucks at support, she doesn't though. They're being selective on who they pick hybrid. And I think that's silly. And realistically, Wuwa is a complicated game with a, a lot of nuance in the sense where their roles, I get why there's only three. And so if you're going to only keep it to three, then after that, you should throw it to the side. Uh, Havoc Rover is whatever. I mean, you want to keep him at 1.5. I don't think Havoc Rover is a bad DPS. I just think we're so used to Zhang Liao numbers, Camilla numbers, Jinxi numbers, Cheng Li numbers, that Havoc Rover is not hitting the same that he did at one point. Therefore, I think that it's a little, it's a little, eh. Uh, T2 Expert brings up to T1.5 called Chero. Guys, I play this video game every day. I'll say this every time. I can't get through Death Messengers. You can say it's a skill issue. I'm someone who's very good at the video game, right? I have people in chat are very good at the video game. Some people can get multiple death messengers off, and that's fine. I love that for you. Uh, other people cannot. The the let's just say there's five million people playing Wuthering Waves. Four million nine hundred thousand plus are not getting three death messengers off for a fact. This motherfucker's trash. I'm sorry. D Calchero is a bad unit. Not good for quick swapping. He just fucking sucks. He's just not good. He's sexy. I'd lick his abs clean. I get it. I I'm in the same camp. Chixie should be T zero trash. Uh, Chixie is C six. Actually should. I think Chixia is a certain situation where I think you could put an expert tag and put them to 1.5, but whatever. Uh, T2 is... Uh, put this man down. Ling Yang's whatever. Don't care. Hybrid, brothers. Boys, this part they kind of got right. Only only a smidge. Not fully. Not fully, but they got part of it right. Uh, Chainly T0. I've been spitting game for a hot minute, bro. Told you before, CN said she wouldn't be a sub. Here we are now. Three months later, she's in hybrid, brother, because she's a great quick swap. She's a great sub. She's a great main DPS. Shang Li is universally one of the best characters in the game. If she was not here, she'd be T0.5. Uh, she is top tier. So to me, she is a perfect T0 unit for sub DPS. She could really fit in any mold, any team composition. Even if her outro skill doesn't like resonate with someone like Zhang Liao. Zhang Liao, Varina slash shortkeeper, Chang Li is still a top tier team. Chang Li... Jinsi is still a fucking top tier game. They, they yo, I'm not gonna lie to you, Sarah. I really think Pride wouldn't watch our stream. There's no way they didn't. It's impossible. It's impossible. I I I, I think I, they had to. They had to, bro, because this is literally the shit we were spitting. They didn't get everything right though, but I, I'll give them credit. Like they got the Chang Li down, so I'll take that. I'll take that. Sanhua, Sanhua C6 um is great. The crit damage of Forte Ice Burst increased by 100. Ice Glaciers will explode even if they are not detonated. So the Ice Glaciers you don't need to activate. But then also at S6, you get after an Ice Prism or Glacier detonated, all team members' attack is increased by 10% for 20 seconds. So you get 20% attack buff for 20 seconds on top of her fast Concerto, Concerto energy. Uh, Sanhua is the true T0 uh, sub DPS. So I'm there with that. I think that's fine. So I think this is valid. I think this is perfect. T0.5, I'm going to get a lot of hate for. Like, a lot of hate. Let's start with Yinlin. Um, I think Yinlin's a good spot. I think Yinlin is in a very good spot. I think 0 0.5 is fair. Uh, her If you're good with her Concerto energy, you know, if you figure out how to work her properly, she can technically work with a bunch of DPS. She could really work with every DPS in the game. So, and her personal damage isn't bad. So, I I'll let her rock. And she is best in slot for Jing Liao. So I think that's fine. Um, Morteffi at T0.5 and Gigi at T0.5. I think Morteffi's S6 provides an attack buff. Uh, resist attack, yeah. So she, they get an attack percent by 20. 
20% attack buff. I mean, like, I know people run this with, with uh, Chang Li. If you want to keep more Teffy 0.5, I will not die on that hill. I don't think he's 0.5. I personally would put him down to 0.1 because other than Gian, he is really not coordinating with anyone. You could do a main DPS John Shin and then say, I use more Teffy, but realistically, uh, you don't do that. And, and nobody does that other than Arvin and chat. I think these two go down a T1. You know, just because Gigi, like, again, I, I pictured it like this in the last video. If a new player looks at this list and they say, who should I roll for? And they see Gigi at 0 0.5 and they don't have Jinsi, that is a dead character uh, with more Teffy. It's a little bit different because it's a four star, so you don't specifically full roll for the four star, right? But Gigi is, is a hard situation why I think this is just not safe for a free to play low spender and someone who is new to the game, right? So I like we just went on an account for TOA where they had Gigi and no Jinsi, so Gigi was render useless. You know, someone's in the comments. Well, actually, it did my Gigi does two hundred thousand damage over over the corner attacks. I love that for you, but there's nothing there. It is what it is, right? So that's my opinion there. T two is fine. All of these I don't care for. Yanwood has six against the shield, which is cute. I think if we're going with the logic that Gigi is best in slot for Jinzi, I think you have to put Yanwood tier one point five. Um, I feel like like that's just only fair. These two I don't care for. All those dogs. I'm sorry, Tiger. All all those dog shit. Does Gigi boost ice damage? She does, but there's no ice DPS, and we have to work in the confines of reality. So it says they show damage amplified by 20%. Yes. Uh, but Ling Yang's dog shit, and no one's doing DPS on what? It's a fucking horrible team. Now all of a sudden this works. I'll say congratulations. Four patches, five patches later. She's now dedicated support to a new five star, right? Supports. Uh, I don't think there's anything controversial about this. I think uh I think Shorekeeper's good, Farina's good, T0. Th neither one of them should be lower than that. Supports the easy section. This is easy. T0, no one's in T0.5. I'm going to keep it a buck, man. I think Yuhu goes down. I think I think Baiji's fine where she is. I wouldn't touch Baiji. But Yuhu needing 10 to 12, potentially 13 inputs to not even match Verena's output and support is not is not a, T, a T1 character. I like that there's an alternative, and if the alternative was not uh, so convoluted and actually doing their rotations, I would say this character is a T0, excuse me, T1. But since it takes 12 to 13 inputs, and those inputs are very complicated, I'm, I, I can't do it. I can't say in confidence that this is a good unit to roll for at T1, so I'm leaving that alone. Yang Yang not being in hybrid is so stupid. Th this is another this is another version where they take an L man. They pick they they only put Chang Li in hybrid. They won't put Donj and whatever. You want to make an argument for Donj and fine. Yang Yang not being hybrid is so insane because yes, while they were support with their outro skill giving you particles for your burst, the fact of the matter is they also have their CC, but then add they do very good damage, right? So I, I don't understand why this is not hybrid. I would put them T1.5 at a hybrid, um, honestly. And John Shin, I don't care. I don't care. Uh, I don't care about Tauchi either. I, I I would leave these alone. I, I don't particularly care about these. Yeah, Ying Ying, I think T1.5 hybrid and call it a day. Uh, this is the problem with these tier lists, right? There's no DPS, sub DPS, hybrid support. And if they did do that, it'd be a little bit convoluted, right? It would, there'd be too much going on in the list. So they have to they have to kind of keep it together. This is why I don't like this tier listing option in, in total. But it, it's 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 a little weird. It's a little nuanced. So overall, I don't I don't like this three category thing, and I, I just don't think they really stick to the hybrid. This was my tier list from the other day with me, Gib, and Sarah. We had the DPS. It was it was very similar in a sense. Um, so we had these two at uh, T zero, which makes sense. I think Chengli as a DPS is still a T zero point five unit. I personally thought Gian should be down to T1. Uh, again, I think she can go up with Expert Tag. This is fine. Really nothing changing here. She was a T0. Sarah put it at 0 0.5. I put it as one, uh, 0, 0 0.5, right? We left Yinlin here, T1. Exactly what I said before, T1.5 to both of these. And then after that, we probably should have moved Yuhu down. So similar, not exactly the same, but similar. That, that was my tier list that we made with Sarah. That was the other video, so that's my tier list. I love you, YouTube.